Hello. I think one of the great unsung heroes of gardens are worms. Although we can't see them, there are hundreds of them in your soil and they're all busy below the surface being really important for aiding the soil and for bringing organic matter down to the surface. Now I think one of the best times of year to see them is in the autumn, especially on a cold day like this, where you can get outside and have a look at your lawn and if there's any leaves lying around the surface you can often see that the worms have actually started to bring them down actually into your soil, into the grass. I've got an example of this here, which I'm going to try and pan out and show you. What they basically look like is a little bit like um, cigars sticking up out of your soil. Let's see if I can point this out to you. So can you see that just here? So what you can see is the leaf's been brought in. There's a worm cast actually in the top. You can see that. And if I pull this out, what you see is whoops, the leaf actually goes, whoop, it's been drawn right in. Look at that right in, down into the soil. So it's really gone in quite a long way. And of course, this is really, really good for your soil. It's really, really good for the plants. What it's doing is it's increasing the nutrients in the soil. It's bringing organic matter from the surface. Um, and um, of course, the, the, the worms themselves, by eating this organic matter, what they're doing is they're pulling it down to have a food source. They also link all of the organic and inorganic matter in their guts as it goes through their guts. And that's really important for the soil. Um, so they're fantastic for keeping your garden healthy below the surface. Um, Darwin was really interested in worms as well. And the last book that um, Darwin wrote was on the formation of vegetable moulds through the action of worms and um, observations of their habits, I think so it's title, snappy title. Um, it was published just a year before he died. One of the things that Darwin did in this was work out how important worms could be for moving soil around. Um, and also um, interesting aspects of their, their behaviour one of the things that Darwin noticed um, was that worms pulled these leaves below the surface and he was particularly interested because it seemed to show an element of intelligence and that was that worms don't just grab on any bit of the leaf, they tend to grab most, most often on the pointy ended bits which of course are easier to pull in. So it's an interesting bit of behaviour there. Um, Darwin studied this himself and what he did was he used bits of greased paper which he cut into a shape, I can show you here, much like this, um, which he put around on his lawn was basically able to show that worms were more likely to grab onto the pointy end than they were onto the blunt end, therefore making it easier and for them to pull these pretend leaves below the surface. Um, I've cut up some here, so I'm going to have a go of this in my own garden now. Um, but this is quite a fun activity as well. So as well as getting out into your garden and seeing if you can see the worms, see them actually getting active, why not have a go at repeating Darwin's experiment and see if you get the same answers.